Hello, I'm Elizabeth Barry, and I am reminding you to get out of your own way. <laughs> Oftentimes, we're in our own way to living the life fulfilled. My new brand is called Beyond Ego, and it truly does mean that life begins where the ego ends. Take the walls and break them down. Become authentically you and stand in your strength. Sit in your power. Love yourself wholeheartedly. How do we do that? It's much more difficult than just sitting here and being in a be kind t-shirt and saying like, yeah, let's be kind to ourselves. Uh, it's a process, it's a, it's a learning curve. And I hope that I can teach you a few things about uh, self-love and self-care, reflection and vulnerability. I just wrote a book called The Kind Communicator and I'm teaching workshops on the analogies, the, uh, the teachings and the opportunities about soft skills and how and when we are clearer and uh, when we speak our truth in, 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 in relationships and in careers and in life uh, in spirituality, we can really honor ourselves for our words. And uh, when we take greater breath with our, our words, we can have things land the way we wish them to rather than having them land and go because <laughs> that often happens, right? So um, I am hosting workshops. If you're interested in a workshop, I'm doing them at schools universities across the United States as well as corporate offices, small businesses, and events. So at my last event that I had for the Kind Communicator Workshop, I had attendees write uh, one anonymous thing that they're currently um, being held back by with communication that I can answer for them. So this is a video series about that if you're just joining us. Um, and this person wrote, they're having a hard time having the will to communicate when they're just so exhausted. <sighs> I wish we had more time in the day. <laughs> Can we clone ourselves? Probably in the future. It's, it's 2019. I'm sure in like 2050, people will be cloning themselves. I'm glad I will be in the heavens or maybe reincarnated as a cat or a horse. <laughs> but um, uh, I really just like being this body right now. So I'm I'm hoping that I can help you with this right now. So again, I'll repeat that. This person said, I'm having trouble having the will to communicate when I'm just so damn exhausted. Uh, rightfully so. <laughs> um, having the will to communicate under exhaustion, uh, the first thing I would say is to find abundance. Know that um, even in our most tired moments, we can still give of ourselves. Uh, I, I was part of the launch of uh, Revolution Latina in 2008 uh, with Luis Salgado when I was working with him and I helped them create their um, camps and their mission and their mission statement and now they're helping children worldwide and worldwide and one of the things that Luis said in his motto for um, launching Revolución Latina which I never forgot was that uh, the mission behind it was going beyond um, and if you can give if you can't give a hundred percent on any given day that's okay but if you can give 70% of a hundred percent then then you're at least a little bit further than not giving anything at all so the first thing that I want you to remember is that abundance is available to us at every given moment and any given moment and if we can uh, become aware that even in our exhaustion we can give of ourselves that we don't have to play the victim of the exhausted person. Um, just be one with that and, and find the abundance in the moment, even if you have to give a little bit. Uh, get, even if you have to give 70% of 100%, you're still giving something and not nothing. Um, the other thing I would say is that having the will to communicate when you're just so exhausted is to save your energy during the day for loved ones. If this, I'm, what I'm interpreting is that you're going home and you have to communicate when you're tired uh, to someone, maybe when you get home from work. Uh, we're all tired. Sometimes we don't have to talk at all. Uh, but sometimes we should and could, I don't like saying the word should, I shouldn't have said that, so you shouldn't have. Um, the idea is to save your energy, right? Don't give yourself to all the BS at the office. Don't give yourself to the negativity of life, of the news, of current events, of the chatter at the office and office drama, um, life drama. We don't have to play a part in that drama at all. We can become a better person, a better communicator, a whole healthy person by saving our energy for the things that are right and real in our lives, including just self-time. 
right? So, um, because what happens, what, what I'm thinking is that when you, you're finding the will to communicate when you're exhausted to someone else when you get home, or whether it's family, or your current partner or lover, and they're like, oh, and you're just like, but I'm tired, their expectations get let down. And I think that um, sometimes we can just say, hey, I'm really tired, can we talk tomorrow? Instead of being like, I don't wanna talk right now, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I worked all day. You know, there's, there's different ways of communicating how we feel when we are tired. Sometimes when we're tired, we're kind of bitchy, we're, we're moany, we're childish. Um, and that's okay too, you know, we can all be who we want to be. Um, and sometimes it, you know, you can't help but being a little uh, mean. <laughs> um, but if you own the abundance of the moment and if you save your energy for the good things in life and not allow the negative energy to take so much of you during the day, then you'll be less exhausted, right? Uh, get more, um, take your supplements. Uh, Make sure that you see a nutritionist to find out what supplements are right for you at your age to have more energy and to be more abundant. Uh, don't drink coffee throughout the day. Like, have a little in the morning, but then don't do it. The sugar gives you up and then it puts you down. All the carbs, they make you they make you not want to do anything, right? Like, you eat a big bowl of pasta, you get home, and you're just like, I don't want to do anything, I don't want to say anything, I want to turn on the TV. Um, so make sure that your habits are in line with your health and wellness. Um, so the idea is not use up all of your energy and, and time during the day so that you can communicate to someone that might wanna talk to you at home. <laughs> you know, don't see it as a bad thing. And maybe someone really loves you and they want to share of your day, share of your soul after you're exhausted. And I would look at that as a positive because not everybody wants to be with other people. If someone really wants to communicate with you, I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, compromise is a big word here, I think, for all of us that um, if we come home to someone and they, this person wants to talk to us and we're tired, sometimes we just have to compromise and just spend five minutes and maybe create a boundary with that and say, I'm really exhausted, but I really want to talk to you. I really want to hear, and sometimes people just wanna be listened to, right? Um, so you can give yourself a boundary. You can say, I have five minutes, I have 10 minutes, but in a kind way and say, after this, is it okay if we go to bed? Or is, is it okay if I just have some quiet time? Because boundary setting is a huge part of relationship building, relationship thriving, relationship happiness. And until we um, make those, comprom until we create those boundaries, uh, that creates a, a healthy compromise, a healthy balance between two people um, who, you know, one of us might be really tired. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's really just about using your time wisely, using your time differently, and uh, finding a way to a healthier balance if you are tired. Uh, exercising every day, at least 30 minutes a day, doing something with cardiovascular activity can really do something uh, for your body. I'm not an expert in that, but I practice healthy habits uh, for myself. And um, sometimes I, I, I do burn the candle at both ends. I, I've been going out um, with, uh, with, with some folks uh, until late, and I usually go to bed at like 8.30, 9.00. Uh, sometimes I've been getting in at 1.30 lately, and, uh, but I take the bubble baths. I take breaks during work and I give myself that time to come back to who I am. And I take the time not to feed into the drama of the things around me uh, because I keep that at bay. Uh, the biggest thing here is to make sure that you are, have this like blockage, right? This is your shield. Once you start personal and professional development, it's fucking awesome. Uh, you have this shield around you all the time so that the drama stays there and then you'll be healthier and happier because drama makes you tired. <laughs> People's BS is so exhausting. So try not to play into that. I hope you're having a good time with this series and if you're looking for more coaching or uh, personal one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you want to do 90 days, 30 days with me, let's work on your greatness and what's inside of you and, and how to communicate that healthily because at the end of the day, it's not about being nice, it's about self-respect, it's about integrity, it's about dignity, it's about living your best life um, in and out of the office. So I hope that helped. Have a good day.